Hello and welcome. My name is Doug Hubble and today I'm going to talk about t-shirt flats. What we'll do today is it's in the middle of the day but I'm going to take flats. I don't really spend my time now instead of at the precious nighttime dark skies. So I'll show you how you can take flats during the day with just a simple t-shirt. The first thing we'll want to do is we'll want to remove the lens cover off of the top of the telescope here. And what we'll do is we'll take this t-shirt and we'll fold it up a few times and then we'll place it over the top of the, the telescope like this. What I'll try to do is try to make it a nice even surface for your flats. Okay, now I have the t-shirt over the top of the telescope. I've smoothed out the edges so that it's a nice, flat, even surface. And next thing we'll do is we'll take some pictures during the middle of the day and we'll capture flats. And what flats do is they help take out the imperfections or dust or whatever you might have in your optical train system. So you get like dust spots or whatever dust motes inside there. This will help make your picture look better. I don't know if you've ever seen this, but you'll see like these little spots or dots sometimes in your photograph. And with flats, that will help remove those spots and dots off of your, your image. Okay, here's a shot of what it looks like on the top here. I just smoothed it out as best as I could over the top. And next thing what we'll do is we'll turn on the camera, power the camera up, and also if you want to have your your telescope focused so it's really important that you don't try this until after you've already achieved, achieved focus. I did some imaging last night so I want to do these flats during the day. If you're, if you're, uh, if you're not in focus then you won't get those uh, spots or dots to get re removed from your image so it's important that, that your, your uh, telescope is in focus. Here's something else. Uh, what I did is I took like another little t-shirt or cover to cover the camera area so what this will help reduce is some of the stray bright light that might come in through any kind of uh, breaks in your, in your imaging train. So this will just keep the, the light to a minimum. So just do a little cover over your camera. Of course, don't cover any of your ventilation. This right here is kept off of the ventilation with the, the telescope above. So just make sure it uh, can still breathe with its fans and uh, should be good to go. Okay, so it's kind of bright here during the day, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and kind of like cover my head, but I'm gonna show you the screen so you can see it. So let's go in and take a look at the screen right now. You will need about 15 flats each time you go out. Flats can change from day to day, just depending if you accumulate more dust motes in your optics. In the example, I'm using Maxim DL, but this is similar to many other capturing softwares. First, click View Information Window. We need to make sure we're not overexposing our flats. You should reach an average reading of about 20,000. Adjust your exposures until you're close to this value. After your exposure has downloaded, then hold the cursor over the image to read the average in the information window. In this example, I'm reading close to 21,800. Close enough. If this is your first time watching, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel. By the way, when you subscribe, it's not gonna cost you anything. You just have to click the subscribe button uh, right over here or right there. And once you subscribe, then you'll get notifications of when my next videos come out. I publish two videos every month on the 1st and the 15th. So go ahead and subscribe, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you.